Should you learn how to use a Real Engine 5 as animator? Hey everybody, this is Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. So there is no secret that for the last couple of years, a Real Engine has made great advancement in on the tech side, right? I'm pretty sure for the last few years, guys, you see a lot of video, a lot of demo where single people they managed to make outstanding project like they almost look photorealistic with a lot of content big open world animation and stuff like that and all of those beauty is basically done just by one person so it looks amazing a real engine looks very friendly easy to use in a way maybe compared to other things and so it look like that even a single person by themselves can do quite a lot and so one of the questions i got asked a lot is that hey alessandro if i'm looking for a job as animator in the gaming industry is it beneficial for me to learn a real engine and, and put on my demo reel or something like maybe a small demo or something that I know that how to import and integrate an animation in an engine or stuff like that? What do you think? And so I have a couple of things to, to say about this and I want to discuss a little bit more in depth. So in general, in principle, definitely it's an extra thing to have on your demo reel, right? If you show that you have a beautiful animation, solid body mechanics, blah, 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 all the things we talk about millions of times. Uh, and then on top of that, you show that you know how to integrate an animation into a real engine or any other engine. Uh, great, it's a, it's a plus, right? People will love it because you don't know only how to do great animation, but you also know the implementation and you understand what does it mean to make an animation for a game, right? So definitely this is a great plus. However, and this is something I need to disclaim, very important for me is that you need to understand when is the right time to start to learn on an engine. What do I mean by that? Because I see a lot of people that maybe they are starting to learn animation, right? They're maybe not very good, they're not very confident. The animation is okay-ish and they're thinking about, okay, but you know, maybe in game is, you know, it's not too bad. If I put it in game, it will be okay. Uh, a lot of games, they don't have very beautiful animation. They kind of have this mentality, they're thinking about it that, I can, I can see what they're thinking. They think the animation is not that good and maybe they're not that valuable as animator. If they show that they can work in the engine as well, their value will go a lot higher because eventually you have to work in games. And yes and no. So I understand that what you're coming from, but that's not entirely like this. Because even though you're applying for a job, if you're applying for a serious studios, okay? Yes, as we talk about, it's great to have it as a plus, but there is a baseline you need to meet, right? If you work, want to work as animator, there is a baseline of skill that you need to have. Nobody wants to have an animator that you know how to use. You can even know how to use the engine perfectly, but if your animation looks clunky, the body mechanics looks weak, it looks like you don't know about the 12 principle, your posing are very bland or generic, your animation looks very generic, your timing looks very stiff or very mushy, you know, like very, very even, like if you have all those issues, I don't care and I don't think anybody cares that you know how to do things into the engine. If first your animation uh, it doesn't look very good. So my advice to all those people who ask me this question, first, if you want to be, if you're serious about being an animator, focus on your animation skill. Make sure, especially if you want to work in games, that at least your body mechanics are excellent, not okay, average, excellent because now we have a lot of animators in the market uh the job might not be enough for all the animators so the competition is high right even for an entry level junior so it's not enough to have an okay level all right and and i'm saying this guys because i did exactly the same mistake when i was young when i was young i couldn't afford to go to an animation school so i learned a bit of everything modeling rigging you know my time it was spread between multiple things and so when you do this, basically you cannot focus on anything and you never achieve a high quality on anything. I wasn't good in modeling, I wasn't that good in rigging, I wasn't good in texturing, in lighting, in animation, because everything was very average, right? Because every time I was bouncing from one topic to another, rather than focus for a few years only just for, um, for one topic, uh, obviously then I realized it was okay just to explore a little bit on everything and then realize on what that I wanted to focus. So at least that gave me a little bit of an overview at the beginning. But at some point you need to focus on one thing. And I can guarantee you guys that even though uh, at some point I focused just on animation, I spent two to three years to study just animation before I started 
to work on, a, on an engine, right? Um, even first of all, even though it might not be very, very difficult, I think right now the engine are a lot more user friendly, but it still takes a mindset, a mindset shift, all right? Because there is a lot of things that you need to learn and new stuff, it's more technical things, right? And so you don't wanna spend your time while you do a bit of animation today, tomorrow you try to do a little bit of the engine, you do a bit of animation here, then for three days you work in the engine, you struggle, you feel frustrated, you don't wanna touch the computer anymore. Sometimes this will happen, right? Because all your energy will start to get dispersed. So for me, it's a lot more efficient where, say, you know what? I've been studying animation for a couple of years, two, three years, My, I'm very solid, I'm very fast, I'm very efficient, and now I can take a break, maybe just for a month or a two months where I can just learn how to do things in the engine. And even though um, you need to make animation specifically for the engine, right? You want to apply a work cycle or stuff like that. Most of your energy right now will go through learning how to make a graph into the engine, how to make all the connection between the animation. Because if at some point you need to create a new work cycle, well, it's not going to take you very long because now you know how to do it very efficiently, right? So maybe in a few hours, you can take Maya, doing a work cycle, you learn how to export and to implement it and see how does it look in the engine, all right? Um, you need to modify, you know, you know how to modify the animation very quickly because now you have the experience. If you are mediocre in everything, it just will slow you down because now you need a work cycle, you, you, you make it in Maya, you put it in the engine, it doesn't look good, maybe the foot is sliding, maybe the weight is not there, and you don't know, it's because the implementation in the engine is not done correctly, it's because your animation is not that good, actually, you're trying to figure it out between both things, what you should do, right? Now, as you can see, it just becomes a waste of time, because you're not expert, well, it's, even as a student, you'll never be expert in animation, but at least you have the knowledge, right? Uh, but again, if you have like a little bit of here, a little bit of there, it just start, start to become way confusing, and then you start to become way overwhelming. It's very easy, especially at the beginning when you're learning something and you're not good at something, you don't have the, uh, the knowledge yet, and you started to learn many different things, you get overwhelmed, it's very easy to want it to give up because you don't have the guidance, you don't know what to do, you don't know what there is the right step to do this kind of stuff. You feel overwhelmed and you don't have a guidance again, as I mentioned, and you want to give up. It can happen very, very easily. The last things you want, guys, is that eventually you end up giving up on your dream job or the career that you want, right? So again, stick to this one. Focus on animation. Make sure your level is really great. And then if you really want to increment more your value, then you can learn a little bit of a real engine. I think it's a great thing. It's great to learn um, how to use an engine a little bit, right? Even though if you end up working in another company that doesn't use a real engine, use another en engine, but at least it shows that you have the mentality. You know what does it mean making an animation it needs to be game ready, okay? And then maybe you can work on that. And I know also there are some um, course if you want to learn a real engine, right? An introduction for animation and stuff like that. That's fantastic. They will help you even more. But again, your animation foundation needs to be really solid okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question let me know in the comment see you next time ciao